Hey guys, Mac from Ravencliff here again, and I want to talk to you about my fretless bass, also in Alien Audio. Check them out if you're a bass player. Double cutaway, this is a Constellation model bass, matching headstock there. Not going to go into a whole lot about the EQs and stuff because I did that on my other bass. Same preamp, but every once in a while, if you're lucky, you'll get to have an instrument, something that just inspires you to want to be better. Something that you can't wait to go home and get your hands on. For me, that is this bass. It has some sentimental value to it for me as I purchased it from a very good friend of mine from her late husband. This bass um, was my main bass for a long time. I had it switched to a fretless neck, Bloodwood fingerboard. This bass is mahogany. The neck is mahogany. Unlike my fretted bass, that has a hip shot, this has a two-tech bridge, which goes all the way through the body. It's got both Nordstrom pickups, big split single in the bridge position, P-style pickup in the neck position. You will hear a little bit of buzz, that's just part of the single coil fun. But I'm going to run you through this bass a little bit. It just sings like a voice. It doesn't have frets, so it's not like a fretted bass or a piano where there's a difference between the note, you know? This would be more like a cello or a, a trombone or something of that nature where there is no separation. So you really have to use your ear to play it. But I'm just going to walk you through the bass a little bit and uh, just let you hear it. I love this instrument. Love it. Switch to the backup pickup, get a little bit of that Jocko sound. I'm overdoing the vibrato a little bit just to give you an example of what a fretless bass does. And if you play it up here, you can really get a singing. Almost sounds like it's alive. Switch to both pickups now. I'm going to roll the tone back just a hair. Beautiful instrument. Sounds great. You can kind of get that Pino Palladino thing. If you don't know who he is, check him out. He's a he's played with everybody. Let's roll to the P pickup now. Get that James Jamerson kind of funk sound, that upright kind of thing. With good intonation, that you gotta do that with good intonation or else it sounds like that. It is possible to sound bad on one of these. Again, the harmonics pop out. 
just like on the fretted bass. Switch to the bridge pickup. And right now I actually have tape wounds on this. And if you can see, they're black and they're coated with almost a plasticky kind of thing. And they really, they really give you a change in tone. Like you just by changing where you play on the bass. Like for instance, if I play back here, it sounds very focused. But if I move up, a little bit more round. Like if I move up here. Uprighty kind of. But this is my fretless bass. Always a work in progress. I'm always working on it. Always using my ear to try and get better. you out of your comfort zone which can only do one thing it can make you better because that will become your comfort zone once you master something that's outside of it I recommend any bass player or any guitar player or anything to grab something that challenges you a little bit like for a bass player a fretless bass because you don't you can't rely on just the note being right you have to trust yourself as a musician and you have to trust your ear happy playing can I Ride into the sunset